Okay, you're going to bust for 15 rounds, you know the rules of boxing. Avoid using any kinds of power. Don't throw any punches during the break. Okay, seconds come out fighting. Seconds come out fighting. Oh. Where's the belt? The belt. And so the moment the belt. has arrived. Marvin Hagler, the champion. The challenger from England, Tony Sitton. Hagler receiving a million and a half dollars and Simpson just over half a million. Fifteen rounds. Hagler to start for. First to attack and the first to score to the head of Simpson. He's walking on the punches in the opening second. He has to get in close. He's outreached by over six inches. A red mark already at the side of Simpson's left eye, and he takes two, three more punches, and he gets inside where he's safe, and that's where he needs to be, because the danger signals were flying there already. Simpson's getting caught too much, too early. So this difference in reach. Simpson's tactics have got to be to try to move inside. He's got to come inside, where he can keep away from Hagler's punches and make his own tell. trying to get his left hook a big punch to work giving Simpson no chance to come in close. Dictating the tactics. And Hagler finding Simpson easy to hit. Simpson's gonna need all his strength and courage to come through these opening moments. Hagler smiles. And that first round was not a good one for Simpson. He never got close to Draws right lead, snakes out and bites into the head of the British challenger. Padilla allowing very little close quarter work. And Hagler now moving up a gear and looking very dangerous. And so far. Simpson has not landed the left hook. Being beaten to the punch. That was a nice little rally there by Simpson. Took the punches and then came straight back. 
jabbing fast at them. If he could get his jab going and then hook off the jab, it could be different. And he forces Hagler to back up. Sipson fighting better now. quite successfully. A much better second round than the first. But Hagler controlled Menace. Waits for the chance. Sees the opening. a better second round for Simpson. And showing a few signs in this uh, second round of the way to handle Hagler. He can just keep the left jab coming. Well, Alan, he had a very rough first round, Tony, but he did a bit... Challenger, stalking the champion. Hagler will quite like that. He likes men to come to him. It's quite noticeable that Hagler does not intend to let Simpson get anywhere near close. Hagler using all the ring. Neat. Very stinging little punch, left hand from Simpson. Hagler will have felt that. And a lot of American comment uh, has been about the power of Simpson's punch and the unusual circumstances that uh, a British fighter comes to America and actually has the punching power on the American champion. That's unusual. Simpson will be gaining in confidence. This is the third round in which Hagler won the world title from my colleague at the ringside. Faithful round for Alan Minter. Padilla, the referee, having no holding. Quite a bit of it going on, on both sides. Hagler's not looking nearly as uh, menacing as he was in that opening round. So much more retreating now. And Simpson putting the champion under pressure. And Hagler saying something to him. This has all the makings of a bruising battle. Simpson taking Hagler's punches well, but taking them, having to take them. It's 
quite noticeable there, Alan, that uh, once or twice, Tony was quite willing to trade punches. Do you think that's the right... He's got the bigger punch, I suppose. Both men smeared with grease. The faces. The shaven-headed Hagler. A man of ominous appearance and ominous feats unbeaten in his last 30 fights in the last seven years been a pro just under 10 years former amateur champion and Simpson goes for him and Hagler has nowhere to go but backwards trying to get close and using the left hook getting through with the jab not really used the big left hook yet Simpson's left jab is very fast he's moving those hands like a blur Hagler frowning. Looks are moving around this ring very confidently. Quite prepared to take a few punches to get inside. And Hagler still using his feet well. If this fight goes the distance, it'll be interesting to see whether Hagler can keep his feet moving as fast as this. He's four years older, at least. Not everybody believes the story that Hagler is only 28. That's another interesting round, four completed, and Tipton. And in fact, the referee is pulling the protector down. That was uh, a point made by the Simpson camp at the rules meeting last night. They said that Hagler has a way of pulling the protector up uh, to protect parts of the body that shouldn't be protected. And certainly that protector was up high there, and it's working its way up again now. Protector should not be above the navel. The left hook going in now from Simpson. Proving to be a good, hard fight. Well, they won't be able to serve Tony Simpson, that he's one of Britain's horizontal champions. In a few that uh, have come over in the last 50 or 60 years, who've uh, folded up a little quickly under American pressure but Simpson isn't one of them Hagler picking Simpson off too easily again
Gibson really has to beat him to the punch and keep him moving back. And that little left jab, followed by the hook, is the way to do it. Hagler trying to put the pressure on himself now. And doing it. And gets through with those good stars for right lead. And the Massachusetts supporters of Agler begin to get very excited. And Simpson's got some blood coming down his face near his left eye. So Hagler has struck in this round, and that was the reason for that flurry of activity from Simpson. He felt the blood coming, and he had to do something. It's not bad. There's some sort of small cut near Simpson's left eye. And Hagler's just the sort of man to make that work. The bell wasn't hurt. And Hagler was really worked up at the end of that previous round when Simpson presumably didn't hear the bell and struck him a couple of times after the bell. And Hagler, he really did give him a glare. And that fifth round has uh, brought a lot of confidence back into the champion. And that right lead from Hagler is now proving to be a very dominant weapon. And Simpson bleeds again. Simpson really does have to move in, stay close if he can, duck and weave underneath the right lead, because if he walks onto that right lead much more, that cut may well be too much for the corner to handle. Well, Simpson's winning friends here for the courage he's showing here in standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hagler. But he's caught the first knockdown. And Simpson's cut and hurt the sixth. And that cut's looking much, much worse. And the end may well be very close. Now then, can Simpson get through this round and get back to repairs? He's trying to fight, but he's being out for. Tremendous efforts by Simpson. But he's coming off the worst and he's over again. And this might be the end. His legs seem to have gone. He's put it all in and it hasn't worked. And it stops and it's over. And Hagler has retained the middleweight championship of the world. A brave try by Simpson. But you only have to look at him to see what happens. So Hagler makes his sixth successful defence of the title and the British effort to regain it has gone by the board in a most dramatic fashion. There were moments when it looked as if Simpson might do well in this fight but in the end the long reach of Hagler and the man's sheer ability and cutting punching has taken its toll. And it's a delighted Marvin Hagler who holds the belt aloft, it's still mine. Well, that was the way it ended.
and there's despair, sadness, disappointment, all those things in the corner of Simpson. He came a long way to try to win that belt, but none of it was any use. He had a bad first round, and then three rounds in which he looked as though he might be able to come to grips with Hagler and solve the problems that this good champion 